here today. Got my co-pilot. Say hi, Bailey. Say hello. It occurred to me in my last video that I didn't show you Bailey's haircut. <laughs> the, the caption said, Bailey gets a haircut. And then I totally forgot to show you guys. So yeah, she looks a lot better. Um, when she came home from the groomer, she, her ears, I told her, I said, can you layer her ears? Well, I didn't expect this. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but she left them long and then layered them. And now she looks like she's from the 80s, which is awesome. <laughs> she looks like she's got a feathered 80s hairdo. <clears throat> um, so I thought that was pretty, pretty adorable right? Pretty adorable. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, <clears throat> she feels a lot better. She hates it when she's got long hair. Um, she's very miserable and very old crutchety kind of, you know, just, she's not a happy camper at all. So when she gets a haircut, she's all spunky again. And <laughs> so it's kind of cool. Anyway, um, so I've had some some people ask, you know, how are you doing physically? How how's your ears? How is all that? Well, I went to the doctor. It was useless. Um, my doctor is retiring this in the next week or so, two week, two weeks, whatever. Which is probably a good thing because he's absolutely useless. Um, he he went on vacation for a week, a couple weeks before he's re going to retire. I, really? Ah, oh, I just I'm so mad. But anyway, <clears throat> I did get a phone call with him. And I told him about my ears. For those of you that are new. Um, I was put on blood thinners because I had a blood clot um, in February. <clears throat> so now I'm on blood thinners for the rest of my life. And I was put on diabetic medication called Jardians. Um, and... Generic Nexium for my stomach because I've got a hiatal hernia and a um, acid reflux disease, GERDs. Um, and so the Jardians and the, I forget what the name of the other medication is for my blood thinners. Um, that Those are new medications. So I thought maybe what's going on with me is so about a week or so after I started or a week or two weeks after I started taking that medication um, I all of a sudden my hearing started to go and it just it almost felt like I had cotton in my ears so I didn't know what was going on I was like, okay, am I catching a cold? Am I, you know, do I have a sinus infection? Do I, like, what's going on? I tried, I went to the pharmacy and they thought, well, maybe it's allergies. So I started on a nasal um, spray. I tried peroxide in the ears. I tried a whole bunch of different things. Nothing helped and it started getting worse to the point where any kind of electronics, um, the fridge, the motor in the fridge, it was there was such a reverberation, like even with me talking right now, there's a reverberation in my ears. Um, when the heat goes on in the house, just the heat, the, the heat, um, or just the, the noise of the, the furnace, which is downstairs 
um, the reverberation was too much. I couldn't have the TV or anything on. It was just, it was awful. So it was weird because it felt like I had cotton in my ears and I couldn't, it was, my hearing was masked, but at the same time, all this electronic stuff was like loud and reverberating and it was distortion, right? So I didn't know what was happening. <clears throat> And uh, so I finally got in to see the doctor. The doctor wanted to actually see me, not because he was concerned, but because he wanted that last paycheck. He had, he, uh, he has a fourth year intern working with him. So he had ulterior motives. Um, she checked my ears. There was no infections, no, um, no sign for, you know, cause for, you know, what am I trying to say? There was no cause for alarm. Um, everything was clear. There was no wax. There was no nothing. Um, so, I don't know. She, she didn't, there was no signs of a sinus infection because I didn't have, I didn't have the headache. I didn't have nothing, nothing. So anyways, um, the doctor came in and he says, well, I told him everything I had done prior. So his answer was, put me on a prescription nasal spray. <laughs> I told him I wanted to go see an ENT, um, an ear, nose, uh, uh, throat specialist. So he said that I have to use this spray and stuff and do the regime for as long as it takes to try and clear up what's going on. And if that doesn't work, then the ENT will see me. But they won't see me until I've done that stuff. Okay, fine. It's been uh, two weeks now on this stuff and it's not doing anything <clears throat> so don't know what's going on but it does kind of feel like I have something in my sinuses going on <clears throat> it just I don't know I got post nasal drip kind of stuff but I don't know if that's because of my my hernia or if that's because of something else so I don't know he says that this EN, ENT, EMT is, doesn't have a good bedside manner. He's very hard to deal with. Um, so it's like kind of one of those, just do what he says and shut up. That's pretty much what my doctor said to me. He says, you're very hot tempered. So, you know, he says, you just got to control that and just do what he says. And I'm just looking at him going, you're lucky that you're retiring, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway so I still don't know what's happening some days are worse than others um, the mornings are really bad the evenings are really bad so I don't know I haven't got a clue so that was 10 minutes of your life that you'll never get back because <laughs> I just spent 10 minutes talking about my ears unbelievable <clears throat> um, the shop shop <laughs> um, didn't make my rent not even close I'm gonna have to borrow money from George again uh, to pay my rent I am beyond upset about it <clears throat> I have to the end of April figure out if I'm sticking around if I'm going to keep the shop open uh, <clears throat> I, uh, and then I'm locked in for the year um, which I think is really ridiculous because she put me in there at the slowest part of the year and my three month trial is at the slowest part of the year so <clears throat> I don't know what I'm going to do I ended up having to, I've got a sign put up 
I'll show you a picture of the sign. And then I got a sign, like a post sign, I'll show you that, <coughs> um, to direct people to my shop. The problem I think I'm having is that you've got Willow Street, which is, this guy's right up my butt. Okay, come on. Um, you've got Willow Street, which is the busy street. That's the street that everybody's on. Then you've got Mill Street, <coughs> and that's the street that I'm on. For some reason, nobody comes up that street. Uh, they go to the restaurant beside me, they go to the restaurant across from me, but they don't see me. I don't know. I've been labeled the yarn shop. I'm not all yarn. I'm half is yarn, half is gifts and stuff. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm thinking about rearranging my shop again. Not the yarn part. I'm going to rearrange the other shop, other part. <clears throat> so, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm just frustrated. I'm absolutely frustrated. But I will tell you, as soon as I put that post sign up at the corner that says Spirit Raven this way, I did get people come in. But people weren't buying. I had seven, at least seven people come in all at once <clears throat> and I made $1.75. Couldn't believe it. Uh, <clears throat> so now I'm really struggling to try and figure out what to do. Uh, the tour buses are going to be starting up in the next two weeks and the Shimanis Theater is starting up this weekend, which is right around the corner. So, fingers crossed that something happens. I've put a lot of work into that shop. We've put a lot of money into that shop um, to make a go of it. <coughs> it would be very sad for me to have to close the doors. And I don't feel like it's really been enough time to like if we haven't given enough, enough time and a fair chance to get off the ground I have a lot of people that come in the people that do come in that say oh I'm so glad that there's a yarn shop here now and you know it's like yeah you might be glad that I'm there so buy something like is it that hard you know like oh drives me nuts <clears throat> So, um, I've been putting ads out on Facebook. I've been putting ads out on Marketplace. Um, I had that thing in the newspaper. I, yeah, I, I don't know what else to do. There is, on April 13th, there is a car trunk sale thing going on at the Chamber of Commerce that George and I are going to go do. <clears throat> and we're just gonna take a bunch of stuff from the house to sell it. And then I'm going to have my business cards. And I'm just gonna start giving out my business cards. So, hopefully that'll work. But yeah, frustration. So, but anyways, I'm off to work. I'm already kinda late. I'm, I'm at that point where I'm not like, oh, let's go to work. You know, I'm all excited. Let's get out the door and go. I'm, it's hard for me to get off the couch in the mornings. Um, I've kind of got this, almost got this attitude of what's the point. And I don't like that. I want to be able to be excited about my shop. Everybody says, just hold on, just hold on. It's coming, it's starting, it's, you know, whatever. I'm like, yeah, okay. I was joking around with George about, well, maybe we should put a snow cone machine in there. <laughs> you know, and start selling snow cones because food seems to sell. <laughs> George is thinking about it. <clears throat> yeah. He says, why don't you just shut your, your uh, store down and we'll just do a snow cone business. <laughs> Yeah. 
Oh boy. <laughs> I know for a fact that if we had a cart and we went up and down the, the uh, street at our place by the, like, we've got ferry traffic that backs up for my, a mile. I, th I know we could make a lot of money selling, you know, pop, water, and snow cones. <laughs> but I don't think the bylaw will allow it. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I never actually really looked into it. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. <clears throat> so, anyway. Uh, I guess that's pretty much all. I just wanted to give you guys kind of like a little update. About what's happening so it's gonna be a very short video well short enough it's just me gabbing I don't normally do videos where I'm just kind of blah 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 in my car <laughs> so here we are here it is um, but yeah I'm gonna try and put out more like little videos like this just so you guys remember who I am All right, guys, I'm going to go, and I will talk to you later. Love you all.